Hey guys! All right, guys. It's Monday double header, and we're starting off with a band. They didn't reach out to us, but this is what's happened. I got their album for review. They're a progressive metal band. I really dig this record. All right, so they have a record coming out on Eclipse Records. I really dig it, and I feel like the only way this I can. I, I know this just because this is the album that they were giving away with the guitar. Yeah, so on, Eclipse on was the, doing that is doing that giveaway for the guitar, exactly. Yeah. And this is the band that had the whole guitar giveaway thing. So I feel like if I put the songs on your phone, you perhaps will skip through them. So the only no, way well, I could I, get I, you... I actually listened to it when you were listening to it in the car. Yeah, but I feel like you need a little bit of a, of a nudge. Yeah. A nudge to, to, to hear at least one of their tracks fully. I really like the record. Uh, the next couple of days, you guys are going to see an album review popping up for this band. The name of the band is Sifting, and the name of the song is A Critical Affair Official Video. Are you ready for this? Yeah. By the way, you we entered the contest, so maybe we get lucky and we'll win the guitar. You never know. All right. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Let's do this.
All right. <clears throat> so uh, I, I want to hear what you have to say. I, I was going to say something about the masks. But... Oh, that's what I was straight going to go for. Oh, the masks? The masks. Okay, so did, did you know who the masks were? Uh, Putin? Uh, yes. Kim Jong-un? Yeah. And Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where they found the Kim Jong Un and yeah, the Putin and the mask. Putin mask. Cause I, I, Halloween is just around the corner. Do you want to be Kim Jong Un and Putin? Wow, are you calling me fat now? Like, no, I don't, no, I'll I be don't Kim Jong Un. You'll be. Putin. I, I don't think I can. No, you have to be short in order to pull the Kim Jong Un, and, and we and have I'm to have the, the Hillary Clinton yeah. uh, suits. We don't. We don't have either one of those. Do you, I think you have a couple of friends that are a little bit short and stubby, so maybe we can drag one of them with us, and we could be the trifecta of evil. Yeah. All right. I'll I'll, I'll be Putin. Can okay. I be Putin? All yeah. right. Uh, I can I can show up uh, with no shirt, just pants, and riding a cars. horse, and riding a horse. Yeah. All right. Enough of that stuff. What did you think of a Critical Affair by Sifting? Whew. I mean, I heard a bit in the car. You heard a bit. You didn't hear but a I lot. I didn't hear a full song. I okay. Would, I would hear like a couple bits couple and pieces, bits and pieces of different tracks. Mm -hmm. And I already actually kind of liked it, but I haven't listened to the full song. This is the first time me listening to a full full actual track? song. It's actually really, really good. Like, the parts I listened to were good, but I didn't, you know, have a full-on idea of what I thought about the band. Okay. But this is actually really, really good. Does this remind you of Beyond Creation with clean vocals? Kind of. A little bit, doesn't Because when it started, I'm like, oh, there's, is this going to have harsh vocals? No, no, no. It, it doesn't have harsh vocals at all, though. It's all clean vocals. Yeah, but okay. I, I, don't remember, I don't remember the vocals. Out of all the things that, like... No, because, I mean, they even have one instrumental track in the album. I think... and, and, and they have songs where they go, like, in really long stretches of just instrumental. But anyways, go ahead. But, yeah, and the clean vocals were actually really, really good. They are good. Okay, so... Especially because they kind of pitch in together. The, the the expression the expression the the feeling that I got when I first got the album for review is that this this band was my first time listening to this band when I got this album the the first thing I'm gonna say is musically these guys are absolutely outstanding outstanding the guitar playing the bass like the the in intricacy of of their playing these guys are like the the, the prog equivalent of, of the Dragon Force it's just absolutely like mes if I, thought, I thought Beyond Creation, but with clean vocals. Like, yeah, like uh, yeah so. Beyond Creation with clean vocals. But to me, they go in even a little bit beyond Beyond, beyond they Creation. To, they kind of go to the uh, the over-the-top stuff that Dragon Force does. Exactly. So it's it's like a love child of the of those two, but in a, in a progressive sense. It's not death metal. It's not technical death metal. It's definitely not power metal. But So musically, these guys blew me away with this record, how good this record is musically. The thing that took me a little bit longer to get into it was the vocals, because... When I first started listening to the album, the first track, uh, this is not the first track on the album, the first track starts off, and it starts off really heavy, like really heavy, like still proggy, but really heavy. So like you, I was kind of thinking, oh, harsh vocals are coming, because I kind of thought like, wow, this kind of has a little bit of a Beyond Creation vibe, and they didn't, it was clean vocals. So it took me a couple of times of going through the record to kind of erase the thought of harsh vocals and get used to the clean vocals. Yeah. Once I got used to the clean vocals, the clean vocals are really good. He's yeah. a really good vocalist. So once the clean, once I got used to the clean vocals, I was like, wow, man, this band overall, especially in this song, the the vocals really shined, and, and they and they really matched well with the, with the intricacy that the music has in play. They 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 matched the whole the the guitar playing and the the fast kind of dragon force the feel to it. Yeah, and then the, and the technical aspects of Beyond Creation. So I really like this band, and I really discovered them through this record. In a couple of days, I'll be posting the album review. But I, I must say, it took me a little bit longer to get into the vocals. Once I was able to erase the idea of harsh vocals and really enjoy the band with the clean vo man, the, the vocalist is really good. And, and he really brings, one of the things about this record is he brings a lot of different melodies. It's not like his voice changes, but his delivery changes ever so slightly depending on, on what the track calls for. And they have musically these guys are absolutely outstanding and then when you add the the, the really good harmony that it comes from his voice it, they have incredible tracks on this album there's one track that's just instrumental that's just like mind-blowing you can listen i wonder how that is because the guitars already in this one were kind of over the top so i wonder how it would be oh the instrumental is absolutely magnificent i mean when you listen to the instrument, I'm not a big fan of instrumental tracks, but when you listen to that instrumental track, you realize that there was no room for vocals. You, you it's one of those songs that is did, just did perfect. You, did you make me hear like the first part of the instrumental? Only the first part. No, I think you heard voice. maybe a little bit of the first song and you heard maybe one or two pieces. I don't think you heard a full song until today. Yeah. So you heard like bits and pieces. 
but it's one of those albums that you kind of get lost into it so you, you almost don't know oh am i listening to the first song am i listening to the like the whole thing just feels like one giant song and be, because of the whole orchestration behind it the way the guitars sound the way the bass sound the way everything sounds even the way the vocals come in it's just it, the album is really concise it just feels like one really long song you know what i mean it's not it's like obviously multiple songs but it, it yeah. kind of has that vibe when you're listening you kind of get lost into it so sometimes i would be listening to it and i would have to stop and say what song am i listening to now like because you kind of lose track of time as you're getting through the record absolutely magnificent all right guys don't go anywhere there's another video coming right after and that one is a patreon request and i believe it's a band that sings in spanish Ooh. so don't go anywhere you'll see what we're talking about or we will see i don't even know for sure but you'll find out in the next video see you guys see you